Okay, food grade terpenes. Now, if you're in the cannabis industry, you've heard this term a thousand times. So what are food grade terpenes? Well, the answer is gonna surprise you because it's not the way it sounds. It is one of the most widely misused terms in the cannabis industry. My name is Drew, owner of MrExtractor.com, and my terpenes are in thousands and millions of pens across the country. I'm here to tell you the truth about food grade terpenes in this week's episode, Food Grade Terpenes from the Terpene Institute. Okay, so what are food grade terpenes? Well, I, I think the best place to start is with what the industry thinks they are, and then I'll tell you what they actually are. Okay, so what you have here on the right are what people call cannabis terpenes. Make sure to go watch the video on what cannabis terpenes are. What they really are is cannabis extracted terpenes. And then you have terpenes that are extracted from other plant materials, such as pine needles and lemons and lime. They're both organic plant extracted terpenes, exactly the same. Over here you have uh, synthetic terpenes. Synthetic terpenes are man-made terpenes. Now, the term food grade terpenes has been applied to anything that is extracted from a plant that has not been extracted from the cannabis plant. That is what the term food grade terpenes are. Now that is completely wrong way of using that terminology. It's a bad description in every sort of the way. Now, there is no difference between the terpenes extracted from the cannabis plant and extracted from a different plant. Guess what, they are both plants, they're both organic terpenes. What is different is the way that those individuals are, individual terpenes are combined. So in the cannabis plant, a whole bunch of individual terpenes are combined together and they make that aroma. In our blends, um, a bunch of different terpenes are combined together make a different cannabis aroma. They're both organic terpenes, cannabis aromas, you get it, right? Okay, so food grade terpenes, people apply to anything that is a terpene that is not synthetic, but it was not extracted from the cannabis plant. Now, here's the problem with that. Like I said, both of these are extracted from plants. Cannabis is still a plant, whether you think it's a magical unicorn plant or whatever, it is still a plant. It's still a food grade terpene technically, right? So what do you got? Food grade terpene, food grade terpene. We can't use that anymore. So the correct terminology on that is cannabis extracted terpenes versus non-cannabis extracted terpenes versus synthetic, not even extracted from anything. Now, the food grade part is the real problem with this. Now, you need to watch the video on whether food grade terpenes are safe to eat and whether you can eat terpenes, okay? That, that goes into real depth about this uh, topic here. But when you use the term food grade, that implies that it is a food. And you have a situation where we're not dealing with large chemical companies and doctors and stuff. You're dealing with medical patients who are sick. They're just learning about terpenes. They're going to dispensaries and they're going to shows and they're trying to figure out what all the hype is about. And they're buying something that's food grade and they think they can eat it. My name is Drew, by the way. I own MrExtractor.com. I've been making pens for years. I've been making terpenes and putting them in millions of pens across the country. I look at the MSDS of every single individual terpene that we use. That is the material safety data sheet. And what that tells you is how much of an individual terpene that a person can ingest if they can ingest any of it, all right? Now, one of the things that you'll learn off the MSDS, for example, is that some terpenes are lethal when you drink them. And the way that you can die is you drink some terpenes, it gets in your airway, it swells it up, shuts it, and you suffocate to death. There are terpenes that are poisonous. There are terpenes that'll just make you sick. Now, the difference between all these is how much of something that you can eat. Every single individual terpene has a different amount that you can eat before or even if you get sick. Now, the problem here is that food grade terpenes contain a whole bunch of different terpenes. Let's say that a profile like mine has 20 different terpenes. That means that every one of those 20 different ingredients is potentially toxic in a certain amount and they're each gonna be different amounts that every single different one is toxic in. So if you were gonna eat that, you would need to know that how much can I eat of every single one of those terpenes and make sure you're not overeating it. The problem here is that um, people aren't doing that. They're just saying, hey, terpenes are food grade. You can eat these, mix it in your drink. Uh, I heard it's food grade, I'm gonna put it in my soup. That is a very terrible idea, okay? Again, watch the uh, should I be eating terpenes video or not. We need to stop using the term food grade. There are too many amateurs in this market that don't understand these facts. They don't understand that you can't just eat or drink terpenes. We don't even know the consequences of it because they're not really telling people. 
you should not eat terpenes. If we're gonna eat terpenes, again, watch the other video. It needs to be done by professionals who cannot mess it up. For example, I put the exact correct amount in a bottle of water, you can't overdose. I don't hand you a bottle of pure terpenes and tell you these are food grade and let you go home and mix whatever you feel like mixing in, all right? Two totally different things. So let's get rid of the term food grade because that does not exist. All terpenes are technically food grade because at some level you can eat them, but you don't know which. So there's no such thing as a food grade terpene. They are all food grade and you shouldn't eat any of them. Does that make sense? Because you don't understand the dosage. Leave the dosage to professionals. Now, you may be able to eat something, but the person you're giving it to may have a compromised immune system, they may have AIDS, they may be sick. The majority of the country are medical patients. As a company, you should not be telling people something is food grade and be shocked if they stick it in their mouth and eat it, okay? So let's use the correct terminology for what you are now calling food grade terpenes. Cannabis terpenes, we need to call cannabis extracted terpenes. It is a terpene that is extracted from cannabis. Food grade terpenes, which apply to other plants, we need to call non-cannabis extracted terpenes. Synthetic terpenes aren't extracted from anything. They're built in a lab. If you want to call those fake terpenes, that's on you. That's just slang. But the term is synthetic terpenes. Three categories. Synthetic, non-cannabis extracted, cannabis extracted. Now, you're using the correct terminology to express what you're talking about without weird terms like fake terpenes, food grade terpenes, cannabis terpenes. Whole thing, all right? My name is Drew, owner of MrExtractor.com, and I've created the Terpene Institute so that you can get a fundamental understanding of terpenes. I never went to college. I have a very successful multi-million dollar company and we serve terpenes to the entire country and you can do the exact thing. You're probably smarter than I am and you probably have a better degree, so this is right up your alley. Make sure that you watch all of our videos, get a really good understanding of just the simplistic way that terpenes work in our industry. And if you need a college education, go to college, all right? Thank you for watching this. Go check out our other videos and I'll see you in the next video.